A monumental winter storm is here. We've been tracking this nonstop snow since late this afternoon, and this is just round one. The roads have been a mess late today, and there were a number of crashes and spinouts during the evening commute. You can see there's one right there. Our Fox 9 weather vehicle has been out on the roads tonight looking to see what the drive time is like and how the roads look. Not too bad right now, but still slow going. And that's a live look in the South Metro. Governor Walls activated the National Guard to respond to any stranded drivers over the next few days because we know we are expecting a lot more snow. And that's just part of what makes this storm dangerous. And tonight, the most important message, stay home. If at all possible, avoid travel the next few days. If you can postpone travel, please do stay home, stay warm, stay safe. And it's a matter of life or death. But moreover than that, it's just common sense. Like why on earth would you want to take the chance of spending the night in an armory when you could be at home safe in your own bed? So and many are already heeding that warning. Hundreds of schools across the state have canceled school or they've switched to e-learning. Some for the rest of the week. Even grocery stores are reacting. Lunds and Byerly's, Kowalski's, they are closing early tomorrow. So this is a storm that will impact your plans this week. And our Fox 9 team has you covered tonight and for the rest of this storm. Chief Meteorologist Ian Leonard on top of it all. So Ian, there's a lot to cover tonight. There is. And the takeaway before and after any coverage is that this is a high impact storm. Remember, we started saying that back on Sunday. Now that the storm has arrived with the waves of snow coming in here out of the west earlier this afternoon, massive snowflakes this evening, some very fine crystalline flakes. That's a big difference when it comes to how the roads are. Remember, Earlier this year, we had some snowstorms, a little snow, a lot of problems. Well, a lot of problems result from those very fine flakes. There's a live look outside. You can still see St. Paul earlier today with the big flakes. You couldn't, but let's talk about this. A high impact multi day storm. Commute buster snow totals starting tonight. It's tomorrow morning, tomorrow afternoon, Thursday morning. Thursday afternoon's commute and through it all right now a winter storm that turns into a blizzard warning for a good portion of the Fox 9 viewing area tomorrow. Let's talk timeline. I know storms like this come with anxiety, so let me march you through it here very quickly overnight three to six inches. And when I said those very fine crystals, those are the kind that compact to the, the uh, roadway very quickly. That makes for some very slick roads. That's exactly what's happening right now. So I don't want you to walk out tomorrow and think, well, we didn't get that much snow, the roads will be fine. So slick roads tomorrow morning. Then we end up with a lull tomorrow mid morning through mid afternoon. The winds begin to pick up. You may see a few flakes, but nothing in the way of accumulations by the commute tomorrow. And more importantly, late Wednesday night through Thursday over the noon hour, another nine to 12 inches. Add to that low visibility, very strong winds out of the north northwest, and you will end up with some rather large totals. There it is. The winter storm warning in place all the way into Thursday afternoon overnight tonight three to five possible tomorrow morning. Then as I mentioned the lull notice the clock and watch as these numbers start to grow with the colors here. That's six to nine plus as we get through late Wednesday night. Then we'll talk about the possibility or the potential of snowfall rates upwards of an inch an hour. Notice the clock Thursday at 7 a.m. The colors here is blue. The colors up top blue. You put them together. You say, well, that's a foot plus of snow. We're actually talking 12 to 16 plus inches by the time it all wraps up. And remember what I said. It's not just about the snow. It's also about the wind. So with high storm anxiety, a high impact storm. I know you want some more information. We really are going to dig into these totals and the timing and especially the lull tomorrow, which may give you a bit of a break. We'll talk about all of that here in about 10 minutes. All right, thanks, Ian. Well, Minneapolis and St. Paul are planning to declare snow emergencies. And they've set up some parking solutions to help clear the streets. Both cities making thousands of parking spots available. And it's not just to help residents avoid digging out. Please move your car, clear your car off of the street and our crews can clear the snow off the street. That is absolutely critical to making sure that our emergency response vehicles can get through and can get to people. That's absolutely uh, uh, key. And as soon as that snow started flying this afternoon, drivers did start taking advantage of those ramps. Yes, yeah, so many of them full already. Fox 9's Rose Schmidt joining us live in Minneapolis. And Rose, you spoke to people who snagged some spots this afternoon. 
Well, Kelsey, this ramp really started to get busy around 5 o'clock with people taking advantage, but there are still spots available, especially as you go up to the upper floors. Good news, especially as the city tells us that some of the parking ramps are already full tonight. As the snow is coming down, the gates are going up, providing a way to get cars off uptown streets. Extremely grateful. If they would do this every time it snowed, I would do this every single time we had a snow emergency. Marie Hansen is planning to learn the bus system this week. Her preferred mode of transportation in this neighborhood not known for its clear streets. I do not want to come back and dig my car out of two feet of snow. I have easy street parking, but that's disgusting. I'm not doing it, so I just got stuck a lot. Um, digging it out was, you know, a bear and a half. <laughs> so I just wanted to kind of avoid that this time around. These drivers among the steady stream to the Seven Points parking ramp around midday Tuesday. So I just decided I better get here before the rush and try and make it easy for the plows. They couldn't be more grateful Minneapolis has opened up these seven parking ramps, including two private lots in Uptown and the city of St. Paul opening up eight parking lots. But I told all my friends about it. Um, I knew like, you know, that there were a few guys like somebody got to take advantage of this. And as they stare off their windows at what's yet to come, I don't know if it's going to top the Halloween blizzard. They're happy for the option. One of those drivers tells us she's a teacher and she will be e-learning this week. Another saying she works at a restaurant and she thinks that her workplace will be closed. So both of them plan on staying home this week, heeding that advice from officials. Reporting live in Uptown, Roche Schmidt, Fox 9. Yeah, such a smart solution. Well, most of us have been through plenty of snowstorms. You probably know about things like, you know, keeping a snow kit in your car and clearing the fire hydrants in your yard. But here are a few tips that maybe you haven't heard of. Even if you're staying inside your home, make sure to shovel outside your door and that pathway to your door so that you can get in and out in an emergency or first responders can get in. Clear out all the vents outside your home once the storm passes. And if you do end up getting stranded in your car, put a brightly colored cloth in your window so that somebody knows you're inside. I think one of the big things we have to take away is that emergency response to your residence or your building is going to be greatly affected. We could see response times increase by almost four times what they would be on a normal uh, emergency response. And again, we can't reiterate this enough. If at all possible, officials do want you to avoid traveling. If your plans do involve flying, though, in and out of the airport, you probably know that it's been a scramble in the last few hours just to beat this storm. Right. Airlines preparing it right now. Bab Santos is live at MSP, and you spoke to people who are putting their plan B into action because some flights have already been canceled or delayed, Babs. Yeah, because today was a tricky day at the airport. More than 180 flights canceled, another 30 more delayed in what was a snowy day at MSP. The storm is coming, so we stuck here, I think. Mother Nature had unlucky travelers at MSP airport doing all that they could to get out of town on Tuesday. Grace Phillips and Lee Mao were trying to get to Tulsa. But after their 7 a.m. Southwest Airlines flight was canceled, they had no idea when they might make it to Oklahoma. A lot already canceled for tomorrow. If we don't get out tonight, then we probably will be Thursday or Friday. That's why even after their flight was canceled, the two came to the airport anyway to try to find another way out of town. If we don't get out today, we stuck ahead tomorrow. <laughs> tomorrow it will be even worse, I think. Not far away, Becky Lean had the same thought. Luckily, her Thursday flight wasn't canceled, but she decided to change it anyway, hoping to get out of town before Mother Nature comes in. There was no charge or fee to switch it because of weather conditions. Lean is trying to get to Los Angeles aboard Delta. After seeing the forecast this week, she moved her Thursday flight up to Tuesday. I'm sure there will be a lot of delays, cancellations, and we couldn't risk it. And really all of the airlines are feeling some of this pressure today, several of them actually offering travel waivers to passengers tonight. Live at MSB Airport, Bab Santos, Fox 9. All right, thanks Babs. We'll be keeping an eye on the airport over the next couple of days. Now, while most of us are scrambling to get things in place, like parking our cars, others are just going outside to have some fun in it. Yeah, Fox 9's Corin Hogger live at Boom Island Park in Minneapolis. And Corin, you did find some folks today who are well, getting outside while they can.
Yeah, they were trying to cram in some fun before the worst of the snowfall shows up, but they are taking it seriously as well. We did see a lot of people out cross-country skiing over at Theo Worth Park, and that was just as the flakes started falling at about 3 p.m. A few of them told us they're hopeful the big snowfall will actually keep those trails open for several more weeks. It'll be a lot, but uh, as hardy Minnesotans, we'll enjoy it. And they do a great job out here of keeping the trails intact. Mike Westerhouse went skiing with his kids today, but he knew he'd have to make some adjustments for remote schooling for at least the next couple of days. The city of Minneapolis crews tried to get ahead of the worst of the snowfall also. They were hitting the roads this afternoon for a little plowing and a lot of salt spreading. We also saw a few folks headed to North End Hardware in search of shovels or ice melt. A source says business picked up over the last couple days and they're staying open through the storm to make sure people have the tools they need. They're also expecting a run of snowblower repair needs. Right now, they don't have any in line so they can get to your snowblower, but they're expecting by Thursday they'll be backed up on snowmobile repairs. So better get that in soon before it gets worse. Live in Northeast Minneapolis, Corn Hoggard, Fox 9. All right. Thank you, Corn.